Are you, after working on this film and you know, seeing what your family went through, are you more optimistic or cynical about the justice system? You know, I'm realistic. I'm not willing to accept that someone else gets to say who William was. They didn't indict. They returned no true bill. I think when we talk about criminal justice reform, it's, it's often in the abstract for too many people. I think one of the things that I'm really hoping people take away from the film is the ordinariness of injustice and how it looks when it's actually, you know, lived on the ground. You lie on the ground, bullet through your heart, and know you will never see your sisters again. The sister, who maybe is the most tragic person, I think, in all the case, um, how is she dealing with her guilt? Um, you. That's me. <laughs> Sue? That's me. I, um, when I was nominated for an Oscar, I also became the first openly transgender director uh, to occupy that space. It didn't take long after the nomination was announced for me to start seeing these, you know, like, historic nomination headlines. And I was just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, so, I was like, why is this historic? Like, if you calm down, I'm already nervous enough as it is. But, you know, the truth is that I've heard from so many members of the LGBTQ community who've just been like, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you for showing a black family loving their non-gender conforming, you know, child. Thank you for showing that we're not the most homophobic or transphobic, you know, community in the world. Thank you for, you know, um, for being visible, right? The simple act of visibility. I think that because film is such a huge influence in our culture um, that we can't underestimate ever um, how important it is for you know, the industry to be inclusive.